After months of being at dock, we are finally leaving Florida. And we have over 900 nautical miles offshore in the Gulf Stream, north to our first stop, Rhode Island. Yep, you heard me right, north. Our plans never included going north of Florida. Bye-bye, Florida! When we got Sersha, we headed straight south and have spent the last five years in the Caribbean. So we have very little experience sailing in the U.S. So this should be very, very interesting. And we're going into the ocean! We've never seen them dredge before. They're just pulling out sand. That's so cool. <laughs> Man, it's like a monster. The way it sounds. It's just been kind of a lazy day. We've been doing some extra little work on the boat that needed to get done before we really got into heavier seas. I think this might be the calm before the storm. We are just been kind of snoozing a little bit, um, laying around, but Bo's about to put the main back up because we picked up more wind from the uh, beam. And we're just trying to get to the heavier, uh, stronger current in the um, Gulf Stream so we can hopefully get pushed out of Florida sooner than later and away from the afternoon storms that we've been seeing happen. I think we have fish on. Is it tuna? Hairfish? What's that? Mackerel? Live to see another day. Ooh, yum. <laughs> Thanks, lovey. Okay. Bacon salad. <laughs> yeah. We found in the first three days of sailing, it's just best to eat light, just snack. We've never really been big meal eaters on the first couple of days, have we? We just get tired. So it's just getting used to being back in the swing of things, keeping it easy, keeping it simple. I had already cooked the bacon, the salad was just about to go bad, and I just cut up some cheese. <laughs> That's it. So, enjoy your meals. Approved. <laughs> Welcome. It's kind of late, but I can't catch anything if you don't have anything out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're going five knots. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Come on, tuna. Where are we at now? 
Yeah. Still small. Another bonita. Wouldn't be surprised. God. Another bonita. Oh. Yeah. Looks like it. Damn it. A small one, huh? Oh, this is miles per hour. Can I change that? Oh, here it is. Knots. It's blown an average of 4.6 knots and a max of 6.8. And we're doing what? Six, Six knots? Yeah. Gotta love that Gulf Stream. <laughs> <laughs> the Mac Daddy is really doing a good job. We got a broad reach, little double wing action going on. It's not like wing on wing, but we got the is main. Is this something you made up? A double yeah, wing? I made that up. Is it a thing? It's I like don't a know. bird that has the main feathers and then the <laughs> smaller feathers underneath. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Sounds right. <laughs> double wing. <laughs> The wind has shifted to dead downwind, so now we gotta drop our main. Shouldn't be too bad because it's only blowing like maybe six knots, so there's not too much pressure on it. Just as I was finished tucking away the mainsail, we lost all in. Did me loosen the starboard yet? Yeah? Yeah. So we just dropped the headsail and we're still going four and a half knots with the current. We have nothing up. No motor on, no nothing. We could just drift to probably North Carolina at least but this is pretty uncomfortable because the waves are just hitting us on our broad and knocking us around. You're gonna put up one of our smaller head sails and put the whisker pull out to stop this roll. It's only gonna get lighter wind overnight and we wanna be comfortable. But I'll take 4.7 without a sail up at all, <laughs> which means it doesn't matter what sail we put up. If it's small, we could put our storm jib up and we'd probably still go a decent speed. We're literally going faster than what our average is with a sail. <laughs> Red sky at night, same as to light. <laughs> this is the direction we're supposed to be going. Yep, wibbly wobbly all the way to Rhode Island. Six knots. Yep. Gained a whole knot with the sail up. I feel more comfortable with this one. Yeah. And without the whisker pull. Without the whisker pull? It's just, yeah. It's more hassle, more something to go wrong. This is gonna be kind of uncomfortable for the next day. First watch. Brandy let me nap during the day, so I'll probably be up for another couple hours, but it is super calm. Not a lot going on. The sky's been super clear. See all the stars. A uh, few tiny clouds rolling through here and there, but it the sea state kind of died out a little bit, but we're still getting waked back and forth. Uh, the CPA alarm keeps going off, but I can't, I don't see the ship anywhere, and they're not popping up on the, at the AIS tracker, so I'm not sure 
if it's misreading something. But um, yeah, it's been a good night. I think it's gonna be like this all night. <laughs> Bo um, held the helm until 3.30, then I took over, no, three. And then I took over and at 3.30, a storm came rolling through. It wasn't bad, um, heavy, heavy rain. Uh, the wind wasn't too bad and it actually calmed the seas down. So we're back to kind of doing a slower roll, not too bad. Um, but yeah, the stars are back out shining and the bioluminescence are just like sizes of marbles in the water. And it's just so cool to see them diving underneath the boat. But, all right, just wanted to give you a little update. Um, it's probably blowing about eight knots right now. The head sail's barely staying full, but we're trucking right along. <laughs> this current is still taking us at an average of five knots, so. I'll take it. I'd rather be in this little bit of a rock and roll than heavy storms. Good morning. It's day two of our sail out in the Gulf Stream. We've had zero, I mean zero, not so in this morning. And we were still going four knots. <laughs> I talked to Bo this morning and last night, um, well, early this morning when that storm came through, he didn't even know what happened. That's how tired he was, I guess. I'm gonna put up one of our little shades that we've, we have so we just don't get toasted in here. that's coming our way. Oof, it's moving fast. It, the big part of the storm is just passing right behind us. It's not even hitting us. did a little grib download and it's showing that we're gonna get a little bit more wind than what we've had. We're gonna put up the main and see how well we can do. <laughs> Hold on to your britches. Changes have been made. 7.8 knots of speed. What's our wind? A max of 10 knots. What's the average? Average lessens about seven. <laughs> We're matching the speed of our, the wind. I mean, the current's about four knots right here. Just under. Woo-wee! Beautiful day. Hopefully we have better luck today than we did yesterday.
throw a reef in just for the night. So just in case the squall pops up, we're not overpowered. Like I, like it did this morning at three o'clock that you don't remember? Yeah, I don't know, I was sleeping. <laughs> if I had this guy up, it would not have been fun. Meatloaf, Brussels sprouts, and bacon. Meatloaf, courteous of Dave. He, he makes the best meatloaf ever. And he made us some for our passage. So we've been like, kind of uh, using it as a little treat because it's so good. <laughs> Movie time. Movie time. Watch Predator. Oh gosh. Welcome to day three. It has been terrific. I don't want to speak too soon, but it has been a very lovely sail as the uh, head still starts vlogging. We really had no idea what to expect on this trip up. We've heard some people have had some major horror stories, but so far, so good, knock on wood. We've had decent wind, and when we haven't had wind, we've still been going four and a half knots with the current alone. I think we popped out of the current a little bit last night. I put white points on Navionics by using um, Windy. I took some of the middle of the road of the stream and put them into some waypoints on Navionics so we'd know where to go. We've been kind of following that track. We did slow down a little bit, so I feel like we must have popped out of it. We've got the fishing pole out, haven't caught anything edible, <laughs> which I'm really looking forward to. And my dolphin babies haven't shown up. So I'll just sit back and relax. Have my coffee and watch out for the puppies of the sea. Oh, we do have one loss. I lost my sunglasses overboard. Guess I'll have to get a new pair. Until then, I'll be wearing bows. <laughs> it's the first pair I've ever lost to the sea. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job. We have a friend. <laughs> Come on down. So on top of the group files that we have been downloading, we've been speaking with Dave, who we were staying with, who I'm now referring to as Weatherman Dave, through the Iridium Go. And he's been able to kind of help us know what's going on real time. I've been staring at this white wall of grayish nothingness for all morning. And I'm just like, it's not going anywhere. We're not getting closer. It's not coming to us. But more or less, it's a storm of rain, but it's kind of dissipating now. So it's been nice to be able to kind of have a little bit more of an understanding of what's going on. The group files are great, but we don't really know all of the things that are happening. Good morning, sleepyhead. Uh, Hello. Sure, we had one. Up sleep. Uh. <laughs> Shaking out this reef because Faster the better. Now that bow's up, we're watching this whatever's happening in front of us. And if we feel like we need to put another reef back in, then we will. But for now, speed is the name of the game. Trying to get as north as possible because it looks like there might be a low coming in around North Carolina Hatteras. And we want to be above that 
um, before that comes in. So that means north northeast winds and you do not want to be in the Gulf Stream with north winds. So I'm hoping that we get past that. You match the bimini. <laughs> Lose my color. <laughs> Why do you think I made it blue? So it's only blowing four knots of wind right now. So we're gonna take down the little 100, the little lady, and put up the big death. <laughs> AKA our 150. Wait, what is it? Oh, the big boy. Sorry, yeah, the big boy has gotta go on. We would do the Mac Daddy, but... The wind's been a little pickled. Yeah, it's, it's been, been on and off, and I don't feel like going back up there, so. The grib is saying that it's gonna be pretty light for the rest of the day. Oh boy. He is the heaviest of all of ours. The big boy? Yeah. yeah. We're going about five and a half knots because of the current, but with that north coming in, that north wind, we want to get tucked up as soon as possible, we're gonna get tucked up into Okra Coke, Orca Coke, Okra, Okra, Okra Coke. Coke. But we do have friends who are in Hatteras, our friends Tanya and Chris and Corbin, and they are, that's just like a free ferry, so we will hopefully be able to see them when we're there, so it works out perfectly. Oh, that's, the, that's not good. It's not folded the best. Oh yeah. Look how lively our cockpit looks. That new bimini and our chairs. Yeah. And your outfit. <laughs> I'm stuck. Uh oh, how come? I don't want to move. You can do it. Very <laughs> calm. <laughs> drop the fishing line in. So while we were up there, I noticed that we have a hole in the dinghy and it's causing the pontoons to deflate. So I think I'm gonna try to fix that while it's still nice and calm and sunny out. Safety first. Step one, sand spot. Step two, clean sanded area with acetona, better known as acetone. Step three, sand down, pipeline patch, and clean. Step four, mix up two part with systems G Plus. This is the best. Next up, try not to get seasick while you apply the epoxy to the pontoon and the patch. And then press and hold, and hold, and hold. and chores for the day are all done. Want some salami, dude? Yeah? Salami? No? No. Okay. Here if you want it. B&B is here, B&B. 
Airbnb's Airbnb. <laughs> How'd the patch go? It's fine. It's not my best work. But I'm on a moving boat. Deal with it. Entertainment of the day. Yeah. Aww. All he wanted was a little rest. A little, a little, little bit food. Of, a little water. Buddy, huh? you look like a little Ewok. <laughs> Since I'm so good at naming birds, I'm gonna guess the fact that you might be a sparrow. Not sure. So I'm gonna name you Shelly. Shelly O'Shea, the sparrow. She's got her little eyes closed. She's so sleepy. is open for business. Feel free to take one of the bunks. There's one here. There's another one over here. I can get you some eggs and water. That's what Finnegan liked. How long will you be staying? Oh, no. 
He's like on the head sail. Oh. Where should we put him? In the back, I guess. On the other side of the cockpit. Quite the collection going on now. Shelly O'Shea. I have to give you a name. Oh, buddy. It's the little things that we get to experience while we're out here that make it all worthwhile. Like finding little wild seabirds that have booked themselves an Airbnb with BNB at no charge. Can't wait to show you guys what we find in the next one as we continue our journey north. So stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.